In this video I will show you how you can change the kernel version on Ubuntu. In this video we will install a previous version of the kernel and then we will try to install the newest version of the kernel. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev and software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. The easiest way to change the kernel version on Ubuntu is to use a tool called Mainline. This here is the official Mainline GitHub repository and if you scroll down a bit, here you will see the installation instructions. As you can see it is located in a custom repository, so let's try to install that one, open the terminal, press Ctrl Alt T. Now first let's check the current kernel version, you name dash a. As you can see I'm using the 5.15 kernel and this is the official Ubuntu kernel at the time of recording. By the way this Ubuntu 20.04 version that you're watching right now is actually running from a USB drive. In the previous videos I showed you how you can run Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Manjaro, Kali Linux, Endeavor OS, Pop OS and even Chrome OS from a USB drive. So if you're interested how to install Ubuntu on a persistent USB drive then you can find the video link up there or down in the description. Now let's install mainline, I will dock this to the right and this to the left. Let's make this one a bit bigger and now let's copy the first command and let's paste it here with Control shift v and enter, enter again. Alright now we need to do sudo apt update and sudo apt install mainline. Enter install, that's it. And there is one thing I will do in addition before we change the kernel. I will also upgrade the system. We are up to date and now let's just clear the terminal and let's open mainline. So I will search for mainline, here it is. So this is the Ubuntu mainline kernel installer. As you can see a very simple interface. Currently I have three kernel versions installed and up here you can see the newest versions that are currently not installed. First we will try to install an older version of the kernel. By default you cannot see the older versions so you need to go to settings and then under show and previous major versions let's increase the count to about 5 and ok. Now let it refresh and now you will see a lot more versions here. So let's scroll down. Here are the installed kernels. Right now we want to install an older version so I will go with the latest 5.14 kernel. Select it and just go install. So let's see if this will work. Now after a few minutes the installation finished and if you look at the console then we can see the installation finished with errors. But it also added the boot menu entry. So we are actually able to boot into this kernel, if we want of course. Now if you get an error like this, then scroll up here and try to find what the error was. In this particular case, this was the error. This installer tries to install a kernel with all its dependencies, with all the package dependencies. In this case it could not find the libssl1.1 package in the official repositories. Since we are trying to install an older kernel version, it is possible that this one package is deprecated in this newer version of Ubuntu. It was probably removed from the repositories because it's not used anywhere. Maybe there is a newer package version that is used instead. And actually there is a newer replacement package available, but this particular kernel version needs exactly this one. The solution would be to find and download all the needed packages yourself and install them. Probably one by one and then try to install the kernel version again, hopefully with no errors. When the installation is successful and you try to boot with this new kernel, there is no guarantee that the system will work as it should because of the mix of the official packages and the custom packages that you installed. Maybe you will find a bug here and there or maybe the whole system will crash or not even boot. It is possible that with this mix of packages you introduced a vulnerability in your system. If this is an old package like this one that is probably long deprecated, the chance is even higher because maybe the vulnerability was fixed in a newer version of the package or in a replacement package. Even if you're lucky and you installed all the packages properly and there are no vulnerabilities inside those packages, maybe there is a vulnerability inside the kernel itself, especially if it is an older version. And these are all the reasons why you should not change the kernel version on Ubuntu. The guys from Ubuntu make sure that all packages work together perfectly, that all vulnerabilities are fixed and everything is tested properly. Personally I would rather let them do the work instead of test everything myself. Unless I have a very good reason to change the kernel version, I would not do it. But this video is not about not changing the kernel version, so let's change it. This one is the only package that is missing, so let's try to find that one. 
You can either google the package because there is a high chance that someone had a similar problem like you and he was able to fix it and post the solution. Or since this is Ubuntu you can try to find the packages on archive.ubuntu.com. If you go to Ubuntu here, then here on the pool and the main. If the package was at some point available inside the Ubuntu repositories, then it's a high chance that you will find it here. The packages are alphabetically ordered and I know the package is under O and down here. Open SSL, try to find it, libssl1.1. And here it is, the 64 version dev package. Let's try it out, click it, it will download. All right, here it is. Now let's open the terminal in here and let's install it sudo dpkg i and the package name and enter. Finish successful, no errors, we are lucky. Now let's close all of that and let's close the installer. Now if I scroll down here, it says the kernel version is installed, but we will uninstall it. Uninstall complete, close, and now let's install again. Hopefully with no errors this time. And this is what we want to see, installation completed, no errors. So if you see something like this, then you can boot into the new kernel. We can close this window. Again this Ubuntu 20.04 that you are seeing right now is running from a USB drive. If you want to know how to install Ubuntu on a USB drive yourself, then you can check the video link down in the description. Now we can restart and you will need to change the kernel version while your machine is restarting. You will need to enter the grub boot menu and then inside the menu select the advanced option and inside there you should find the new kernel version, select it and just boot into it. I will assume that you know how to enter the grub boot menu and actually if you did not change any settings it should open by default when you restart your machine. Now I will restart and do the same on my system as well and I'll see you in the new kernel. Here we are back in Ubuntu, let's check the kernel. Open the terminal, uname-a and yes we are running the older version 5.14. So it worked. Now let's try to install the bleeding edge kernel. Open mainline and let's go with the latest one, 6.0.1. Install. Let's see what will happen. After a few minutes, installation completed without any errors, so we are really lucky today. No errors, no missing packages. That's perfect, I was not expecting that to be honest. Let's try this out. Close that. 6.01 installed. Now reboot the system and boot into this new kernel. I will do the same on my system as well and I will see you in the new kernel. Back in Ubuntu, let's check the kernel. Open terminal and uname-a. And yes, we are using the kernel version 6.0.1, so this is the latest version at the time of recording. The question is now, would I use this as my daily driver since this is not the official Ubuntu kernel? Since we didn't need to install some custom packages? Maybe. Probably only if I had a really good reason to use this kernel. But just for the sake of being at the newest version? Probably not. Because of the reasons mentioned earlier. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.